Greetings and welcome to Cataclysm Quick Tip number 70, where we're going to discuss how to quickly unload containers. So in the experimental branch, we now have containers, within containers, within containers, etc. Some of the containers can be pretty unwieldy to unload, given how many layers of containers they are and how many of the items there may be. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways that we now have in the interface to quickly unload those containers. Now, before I get started in the two methods I want to detail, I also want to talk about how to drop items effectively. I think some people aren't aware of some of the options that you have. If you press the D or Shift D for the drop menu, you'll be able to bring up this list. And what I want to make sure everybody knows about is the category selection mode option. So let's say, for example, you just finished looting a library and you've come back from the library laden with books, big pile of books. We're going to pretend that these are books instead of tools for this example. Well, let's say I wanted to drop all or most of these. Instead of going through with the arrow keys and individually selecting them by going down arrow, right arrow, down arrow, right arrow, etc. Instead, if I know I want to get rid of all of them into my, my inventory uh, piles, I can just hit the tab key to go to category selection mode. This allows you to highlight an entire category with one key press. Now when I press the right arrow, all of the items get selected simultaneously. Saves a bunch of key presses. Now let's say I only wanted most of the items to go into the, uh, or get out of my inventory. All you have to do is get back out of category selection mode with the tab key again, pick the items you want to keep, and then press the enter key to say go ahead and drop it all. It'll drop everything with the green plus, of course, and you'll still have the items you have unselected. So by using category selection modes, very powerful tool, you can very quickly and easily drop large quantities of items, especially for certain categories that you know you're never going to keep in your inventory, like books. Generally, you bring books back, you drop them on the ground or into your storage spaces, and you're done with them. Uh, so this makes that a much faster process. Make sure you take advantage of it. All right, let's talk about the two methods to deal with the containers within containers within containers. First up, we have a new hotkey that you can assign a key to. So if we go to the key bindings menu and we type unload, the one we're looking for is unload container. This is a new option been added to experimental. You will not have a key assigned to it by default. I have assigned the F5 key. You can pick whatever key you would like, but just assign it a hotkey, close and save that selection. And then from there, anytime you want to unload containers, you can just press your hotkey. It'll say unload where at the top, pick a direction to unload into. I'm picked the space to the right of my character in this example. And then we can pick things to unload. So let's say I want to unload a couple of IFAC pouches that we brought back. That's got five items. That's got seven items. And there could be a couple of sub containers involved as well. I'm just going to pick those two for now. Press the enter key. And you can see it has now unloaded into the space next to me. We've got the bandages, the gauze, the tape, the powders, etc. So two IFACs have been completely unloaded and they're ready for me to loot, whether I use the grab menu or use the advanced inventory manager. So quick and easy. Now, there is another method you can use. And I want to point out that in some of these methods, if you're unpacking things like MREs, it will not unpack all the way down to the bottom layer, meaning your beef brisket won't get peeled out of its sealed wrapper. This method won't do that. So if I drop, a, or if I use my hotkey, say to unload and pick an MRE, it has unloaded. But when I look at the list, you'll see some of the things are still in wrappers. So the candy and such is in wrappers and my Pepper Jack beef entree is still in its wrapper. That's important because you want that to stay sealed until you're ready to eat it. If it unsealed all the way to the very bottom level, then it would start the rot or spoil timer on the food. You don't generally want that. So just be aware that sometimes it's good that it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. It just depends on which kind of item you're trying to unpack. All right, let's talk about the next method. So if you have a really large quantity, you might want to use this method instead. And I re recommend you set it up anyway, because it only takes a few seconds to set up when you know how to do it. And it'll prove very, very useful in your future unpacking needs. That is using the Zones menu. So if we bring up Shift-Y or Capital-Y to open the Zones Manager, I have a zone set up. I'm going to press R to remove it and show you how to set this up. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a personal zone. This is a zone you designate a location and it follows your character around at that same spot. So I'm going to hit P for personal. We're going to scroll to the bottom of the list or near the bottom. It'll have X, loot, unload everything. 
We're going to say, no, no, yes. That's my choices. You can pick your own options here. But detach molly attached pouches, I'm going to say no. Detach mods from weapons, I'm going to say no. And always unload, even if there is a valid sorting location, I'm going to say yes. Give it a name. I don't particularly care myself. I'm just going to leave it as unload, unload all. Select the first point. I'm just going to move the cursor to the space directly to the right of my character. I'm going to pick that for both the first and second points because I only need a single space for this to operate. And we have now got that particular zone set up and uh, enabled for that location. I'm going to escape out and save the changes. Yes. And there is now a personal unloading zone directly to the right of my character, no matter where I go. It's not in a set position on the map. It's on a set position in relation to my character. So it doesn't matter where I move to, we now have that zone adjacent to us. So what that enables me to do is just go ahead and drop any containers that I would like to unload. So let's, for example, drop this, uh, we'll drop two of that and one of that. So we're dropping two of my five M2A2 ammo cans. This is one of those things that usually starts this conversation off as people loot these from various locations because there are literally containers within containers within containers. There's like three, four layers deep of containers that you have to unload, 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 unload to finally get to the items you want. So this is the primary reason I have people asking this question is these particular types of items. All I'm going to do is say I want two of those and that one unloaded. We're going to press enter. And they have now dropped to that location. That's just the drop menu. So I've just picked which ones I want to unload. Now we're going to hit shift O or capital O. That just says to execute the, uh, the zones features. We're going to pick the unload nearby containers option that we created. And it is now going through and fully unpacking every container within that grouping. And it might take a little while depending on just how much stuff. So if we take a look at that pile now with the grab menu or pickup menu, we have 2,520, 2,520 loose rounds of 5.56 NATO M855 ammo. So it has been unpacked from, from cans, which contain boxes, which contain bandoliers, which contain clips, something like that. It's just, like I said, container within container within container. These are all four different containers, basically, that we're holding all of this ammo. Just imagine trying to unpack... I mean, three ammo cans that had 20 or 84 mini ammo boxes that contained ammo bandoliers that contained clips that finally had the bullets that you wanted. This is why this is a very, very, very quick and useful feature is it'll get you through all of this manual unloading with just one key press after you've set up the zone. Now I can just grab all the ammo I want and we're off and running. And like I said, no matter where I move, all I have to do is drop items next to me or drop containers next to me. We'll do uh, we'll do those two this time, and then press Shift O, capital O, unload, and we're all done. There you go. And now go pick up the specific items I want within the, the containers, or that used to be in containers. All right. So between those things, the, uh, the the category selection mode, the hotkey for unload containers, and the zones system for unloading containers. I think you'll uh, be able to get that unloading done way, way faster and your inventory management key presses will go way, way down. I'm a big fan of less key presses, so I'm always happy when we have features like this. Just a matter of uh, letting people know how they work and uh, how to set them up. So I hope you found this information helpful, useful, entertaining. As always, thanks very much for your support. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, let me know in comments, in chat, uh, during live streams, wherever. I'm always happy to get feedback and see what I can do to help you guys out with your cataclysmic adventures. Have a great day. Stay safe out there.